All right. Wife's asleep, kids asleep. Let's play some video games. My name is Nat John Smith, and today we're playing Timberborn. Welcome back to our beaver colony. We are here in the Eternal Springs district. And in this episode, we are going to do a big project. Uh, I wanna, you know, I do no longer want to waste good water here. Uh, we are now in a uh, wet season and we have a lot of good water and yeah, it's overflowing here after our little reservoir and is completely wasted as you can see. Um, and I, I do, no long, do no longer want to, well, have that go away. Uh, so we'll find a way to store that in our lake reservoir, which will then probably need to be e e extended, but that's a problem for the future. And I thought about building an aqueduct. So, um, first things first, let's figure out the height difference between, well, I'd say, I'd say this level and this level over here. I think we're gonna have the water come in here. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's see. So we go down here one, then this is now minus three. Minus four, uh, actually, let's go over here. Minus three, minus four, minus two, minus three. Yeah, okay, so I, I just did that and I set a little reminder thingy here. So, um, this is the, the level of, you know, the canyon over there. This height is this height. So this is one above the the way over there. So I think we'll 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 have the aqueduct be a little bit higher than that. And this should work. My idea is to build a mechanism here uh, on, on top of the water sources so that the water rises up here a little bit more. Then we'll probably have one good water pump uh, which pumps the water out of here. So we'll have, I don't know, Kind of water flow uh, running back into this reservoir thingy so that we have al always have water in there then we'll probably cut um, through this mountain and have some sort of secondary reservoir where you know we can take good water out with water pumps i, I guess we're, we're going to move them up here and then have the bad water um, go away out of the map or or back in here in this bad water pool so that uh, only the good water can stay in an aqueduct which will bring i don't know maybe over here uh, on the side of this mountain through this canyon and then back back up here again um i thought about doing different things you know like having having the water go on top of the on the bad water over there in an aqueduct but um, as of now this is not possible because uh, you may have noticed that they announced the next update update 6 where we'll have real 3d physics for the water as of now this is a simulated 3d water physics they, they call it 2.5d water physics so it's as of now it's not possible to have two different bodies of water uh, go over each other so we can't have, you know, an aqueduct crossing. Uh, for example, a good water aqueduct crossing over this this uh, bad water river. That's just not possible in the engine right now, but it will be possible in update six. Um, yeah. So for now, what we'll need to do is we, we'll have to go around this bad water, and we're going well. We're gonna cut cut off this bad water source and uh, build an aqueduct over there. Enough talking, let me plan the first step over here and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, well, so I'm just now noticing that I don't really have a plan on how this is going to work or if it's going to work or not. We'll just we'll just figure out on our way. Um, I maybe have to pause some of those things so that we don't have major overflow here while, while there's still a wet season. But... I guess this can kind of work, you know, the water will rise in this little um, thingy here and then it will go over there. We'll probably have to dig that deeper so the whole amount of, you know, water from five sources can go through there. Then, yeah, 
We'll cut in a, a little reservoir over here. Maybe it's going to be bigger than that. I don't know yet. I, I guess I just have to figure out while while doing it. If it's if if this turns out to be a complete failure, then um, we'll redo it again. Okay, guys, do you do you have do you already have um, dirt stored here? Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt. Okay. Oh yeah, and also, uh, thanks for the comments regarding this this water uh, pumping setup in in this district. Um, I'm leaning towards ripping that out again. Uh, I've, I haven't decided yet. It's not going to happen in this episode, but I'm, yeah, uh, you you can still write down comments um, uh, regarding this this thing whether I should rip that out or, or try to fix it. Uh, oh, that had started. Hold on, I immediately hit pause because that's what I'm programmed to do in my brain. But I don't need to switch anything around here. Let's just see if those things work as intended. Oh yeah, and we also wanted to check if we get contamination here. So the first thing that we can see is that I don't get the bad water waterfall. And oh my. We are not able to get the contamination out of here. Uh, major problem. Why not? We have two water sources in here and two pumps. So, open this panic gate. The contamination is going up really rapidly. And we have... Do we have contamination here? No, that's just not irrigated. Okay, so we don't have contamination. I don't know why this isn't producing a waterfall. Maybe this needs to be one tile deeper. Uh, okay, contamination is no longer going up. It is going up. Wow. Um. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> panic mode. <laughs> I'm scratching my head right now. What? What? Why? So, two pumps is definitely not enough. Do we need four pumps? This is also not enough to, to get rid of the water. Two pumps and one tile of overflow is not enough. You know, we had we only had two tiles of overflow and it was fine before that. I'm gonna rip out this levy. And the floodgates here. And let's see if that helps. Okay, contamination is, is no longer going up. Yeah, now the water is... Yeah, now, now we're getting rid of the, of the water. Even of the good water, obviously, but uh, yeah. A little bit of contamination will be fine, but just flush it out here well i can't close it anyway now so because i completely removed the, the barrier i can close this thing as soon as i i don't know let's say something like that maybe stop stop here as soon as this is down to two Um, yeah, now we have contamination over here, obviously, because of this. Not happy with that setup. Still have water flowing out. Oh, what? 3% contamination, close this. Okay, we can live with 3% contamination in here. And now everything should go out of there. Right. Um, 18 days bad, uh, bad tide. So maybe we can fix that during the bad tide. Wow. I don't have any more space here. I can squeeze in another pump. But we definitely need at least two more pumps. At least two more pumps. So one pump will go here. Um, but I'll have to leave that open right now. 
and then we'll have another one over there and the water will, will go down here and yeah that will be weird but that's just how it is so another pump here that means levies over here i wanted to do something different in this episode big project you know aqueduct so keeping kind of like a fluid bomb pump like that um this needs to be deeper right uh, how deep did we did we build that? Two. Uh, two down. Okay. Uh, hold on, that's not the same height. So two down here and just one down. Okay, let's let's have them build that. Hmm. Okay, they finally did that here. Detonate the bits down there. Now, if I remove this, now that shouldn't, that should still work. Um, hold on, that I, I need that for for you know access. I don't need to build anything here. We, we can clean that up later. I'm also going to clean this up. Now I just want to get it to work. Which means, yeah, we'll have to close that. Unfortunately. Uh, which will cause problems along the way. This also has to be dynamited down, at least by one. Probably two even. And at the start of the next day, I'm gonna put the levees in here and we'll have a little bit of overflow maybe I'm gonna open that again also in order for them to be able to build the levees we definitely need this double platform in here why are you guys unwell where did you spend time in contaminated water over yeah, you didn't. What? No! Why? Why would you do that? During a bad tide. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not the best idea. Pause that. Wow, everything's going wrong. Um, where is my decontamination thingy? Okay. Okay. We can handle that, we can handle that. Um, do we have enough time of the day left so that we can close this? Well, the closing isn't the problem. Putting the water pump in there is the problem, time-wise. Anyhow. We need to build that now. And as soon as we have overflow happening, we can we can open this a little bit more, so we will have a little bit of contaminated water in there again. We should be fine. 17 beavers unwell now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Completely messed up again. Yeah, I, I guess that's um, supreme content for you guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry about for the, the uh, you know, unplanned stuff happening here. And yeah, that's that's a little bit of overflow. Is that yeah? We need to lower this disaster. Um. <clears throat> no words. No words needed. It's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. We, we're going to have bad water everywhere. Uh, this is this um, this is fine. This will go away soon. And as soon as this pump is working, I just hope that four pumps is enough. I kind of feel it isn't. Contamination levels now reach four five percent over here.
Come on, please finish this. Come on, gears, bring the gears here. There we go, that's all the gears. No, well, not all of them. Second time. I, I do not dare to look over into our district thingy. Well, okay, I didn't destroy everything with the building plants there. Um, still contaminated water down here. Pumps are operational. It's not enough, is it? This is not enough. We still have a whole lot of bad water going in this direction. Look at that. Oh, wow. Guys, I messed up. I completely messed up. How many pumps do I need for this? This, this doesn't get better, right? If I close this now. Now we have way more water coming out of here than, than the four pumps can handle. Right? What, what happens if I close this now? Completely overflowing again. That's so weird. I mean, maybe, maybe it's... Is it possible that we have more bad water coming out of a water source than good water? Because over here we have three water sources and three pumps and they're pumping out the good water and that's completely enough. Here we have now four pumps for two water sources bad water pumps and it's not enough to pump the bad water away uh, the, the the real problem is I can't even flush the bad water out of our of our lake reservoir because that's you know I can't open it more than than this thing Let, let me have another look. If I no, if I close this, then we have completely overflowing. Right, this no, this just they just can't handle the amount of water here. Yeah, you better not go in in the swimming pools now. Though they are closed, can't close them. Uh, okay, I, I close this again. Let's see if the water level rises here. It does. So that's n that's definitely not enough. What what can I do now? Two more pumps. Would that be enough? Probably not. I could rearrange the whole thing so that we'll have you know uh, pumps oriented in the other direction, and and the good water is pumped. And the bad water will just flow over there. This also changes everything for for this setup. Um, wow. Well, in order to you know salvage this situation, can you, is that is that what you what you say? In order to um, yeah, I'm at, uh, at the loss of words now. Also, I'm I'm out of ideas. No, the only thing that I can think of is that we that we rip this thing out, have the overflow go down there again to not make anything worse, and then we'll completely change the setup so that we have the pumps in the other direction used for good water, and um, then we'll also leave a floodgate in there that we can so that we can manually fix this. And, and, you know, the overflow for bad water will, will be on this side. Because my theory now is that the, good, the amount of good water and the amount of bad water isn't the same. Uh, that may or may, may or may not be true. 
The other possibility is that those water sources are way stronger than the other ones. You know what? I, I could test um, over here. Where is it? If 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 the the good one, the bad water is, you know, has the same strength. I could build a temporary channel over here and have the bad water be pumped. It's just to test that theory, which means we'd have yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. We'd have another channel over here with access. Let them build that. And in the meantime, we are going to... Rip this pump out. And open a channel here. And this should now... Help us to, to get rid of the bad water here, right? This is now going... Why is this going up? Okay, now it's going down. Okay, so yeah, we'll empty we'll empty this thing here. Too much bad water in there. Wow, now we also have bad water in here, obviously. I hope that's just the decontamination level is not hold on. Why do we have overflow in this direction again? Is this This is going up. How is that now possible? We have two water sources here and that's the exact same setup that we had. The opening is two tiles wide. Now the water is flowing in this direction so it... I think it should be fine. Yeah, it's going down again. Okay. Yeah, maybe that was some some back and forth flowing thing here. This will be, you know, there's good water be put in there, so so this will gradually get better, hopefully. Um, we have bad water in the lake district now. We should probably we can what we can do to fix that. Is well probably just wait. Okay, this is it's not really going down, but it's also not going up, so that's something. Right, for the for our testing, which will influence what we are going to do. Hold on. Let me check the eternal springs for a second. That's okay, right? No overflowing here. Um I'm pretty sure we are not going to <laughs> We're not going to be able to, to go ahead with, with this project here uh, in, in this episode. Really sorry for the dramatic change of events. Um, where is that? Okay, let's see. If I now detonate all this. Obviously, what we also need to do is do that over here. I'm just not going to look at the um, unwell and, and contaminated beavers. What is out of energy? Why does this, this happen now? Do we are we out of energy as well? No, energy is good. Okay. So now we have another channel here. Then we need to put the power back in there. Obviously, I should also put a floodgate in here. <laughs> the worst thing would be to pump the bad water now in this channel and and add to our lake reservoir with the bad water as well. Well, look at that. Uh, what contamination level do we have in our lake reservoir? Three percent. That's not that's not too bad. That's we can live with that, right? This is still not going down, but it's also not more or less stable. Yeah, okay. Come on, guys, build that, please. 
Oh no. Contaminated. Poor guy. We do have a lot of unemployed bots. Do we have? We do not have a lot of unemployed beavers. They're all contaminated. Uh, so uh, out of jobs, everything. Come on. Thirty-two vacancies. Let's just say it'll be fine. Will it? Yeah, the builder's hut here. Everybody contaminated. Okay, let's um, switch those to, to bots. We have enough bots and we do not have enough beavers. Um, bot holding post, holding post, and this is a beaver holding post. Let's all switch that. Actually, you can fill that up with bots. So, okay, now uh, seven extra bots and nine vacancies, so that's way better. And I'm lost again. Where is that thing? Over here. Right, now we can switch that to bad water. And now our test is, do we get rid of all the bad water in this channel? And we do. So... Next theory. Okay, so, well, the good thing is, good and bad water is the same amount that comes out of one water source. Which kind of means our starting water source is stronger than this one. I'm, that, that's, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we shall fix that again. Fill it with dirt, like nothing ever happened. Okay, this will be fine. So... We have two water sources here. I'm pretty sure they're not double strength. I think they're at least triple Let Let's assume they're triple strength. Can we still you know, have our system work and put six pumps in here. First of all, let's see if, if I pause those three. Is this, is this okay? Or do we get... Yeah, that's still fine. The flow of water here is almost the same. Can I place a good water pump uh, here, theoretically? I could. Don't build it. That's just... Hold on. Don't build it. So I could... I think I could put one good water pump here. Another one over there, which which would give us the power, uh, power connection issue thingy. So I'm not going to do that. How about one good water pump on this thing? Second one. Third one. Hmm. Third one. First, second, third. How about this? The bad water, or the, you know, we'll, we'll have the bad water be the, the water which is not pumped. Bad water will flow in a double channel from here over there down there. On this side, we're gonna have a pump here, which takes the water from here and puts it on this tile, which means we need to have levees here, and the water will then be able to flow over there. On the other side, we'll have the same thing with a pump here, which, will put, which puts the water from here to here. And now we just need to make that big enough so that we have six pumps. Three on this side, three on this side, and then the rest flows down there. I'm gonna try to do that. And if six pumps is not enough, then we'll rip the whole thing out and we'll do what we had in the beginning. 
uh, you know, with manual opening and closing the floodgates. I really hope six pumps is enough, but but if that's not enough, then then we'll have to go back to the old system, I guess. So what can I do now? Um, during the bad tide, we obviously need to keep this open, but we could be we could start to build the rest. <clears throat> so this would stay here. We'd have hold on. Let me let me plan this while while pausing. Now we have this thing here, so we'll need to extend that over there. Um, hold on, the pump goes one, two, three over here. So this will be closed like that. Yeah. Right. Yes, good water. Oh, completely out of logs again. Yeah, I guess because we killed every tree in here and this is dead, has been dead for a long while. For a long time now. Is this the only tree farm that's now working? Stop those pumps. Do we have a water dump up here to, you know... Yeah, there's one. Just so that we can get flush the bad water out of here. I mean, we have good water back in there. Or, you know, good soil. It will be fine with time. Um, this is now closed, so I can get rid of this levy, right? And this one. Yeah, I can get rid of all those things. Rip everything out. Can you now access all the rubble? Because we need the rubble, yes. And then I think we should now start to think about the the depth that we want to have here. I guess I guess it should be the same depth as the water sources. So uh, dynamite two down. This is now built, so we can get rid of this thing. And this is completely closed, right? Yeah, that's that's going to be for the good water. This is closed with the floodgates and this levee. Bad water will be here and good water will... Well, we'll have levees here and this will... Yeah, okay. So we'll need to close this. And um, we'll also need to close this again. Since we're almost out of logs, I'm gonna use dirt there. Hold on. I have four days left. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we can always open this floodgate for the time being, right? And then we'll just probably need a floodgate to, to close this so that that this was that this is going to work in the 
in the next uh, wet season. Because we obviously we need to have the good water now to flush everything out and so on. So I need to build a floodgate here and we'll have probably the next season um, to do that manual again. Which means double floodgate, never unlock those. Nice. Double floodgate here and double floodgate here. And I guess for his, uh, aesthetic reasons, we're going to dynamite this down. Really not that important, but it will be completely blocked in the future, so better do it now. Okay, this floodgate is in, so we'll need this one and it will be fine. Lower this for the time being, this is set to full height, yeah. Uh, water levels went up here. Why? Oh yeah, because we have this fluid up. We need to lower this to 2.5. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah, but before I forget about it, we, we, we have to flush everything out here. Wow. That was really, really catastrophic failure here. Simply do not have enough logs. I do have enough pine resin. Well, I, I don't even have enough pine resin. This is going down. We have more than enough treated planks. And yeah, we're going to stop now. Um, we also have enough gears. Uh, gear workshop, pause those, pause the plank production. And pause the treated planks. So, all the logs are now being used for um, for building. Should have done that ages ago, or you know, minutes ago. Okay, okay, we're ready for the wet season. This 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 can work in the wet season. Uh, so this actually needs to be completely lowered. This will no longer be here in the future. Um, we want to have power in there, which will come from over here somehow. And I think we can start to rip this out now, right? Because, yeah, that's closed, so this can go, this can go, this can go, uh, not this one. Oh, that's not going to work as a as a way to move around. Yeah, never mind. So, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, okay, we still need to fix this around here. Now the bad tide ended, which means we have good water. Close this, open this. Just hope that it's. Not doing something bad like it. Come on. Tell me that that was just temporary. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, is this, is this fine? Is... Depth is okay. Contamination levels should be going down. Well, now the, all the bad water is, is flushed out there, so... Wow. <laughs> oh no. Uh, but I think... I think everything will be fine in, in a moment. This is, this is good water. Good water is coming. And it's pushing all the bad water away. Yeah, we should be fine. Maybe um, lower this, or yeah, maybe lower this now so that we can get the bad water out.
and we can start to build the pumps. I can. Ah, we can use this for the um, for the power. So power can be transferred over there, so so that we'll have you know regular access for the beavers over here. Yeah, this will be for the power, maybe. Don't know. Um, you'll have your path over there. We still need to be able to bring the water from this channel in this thing here. And we probably, I guess we need to get rid of something here. Um, this needs to stay. So, no, hold on. Well, this needs to be levies. Oh, we can... We can close this up as well. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Actually, uh, let's... let's Play it safe and use and use the floodgates over here. So those will be the floodgates, which means this will be the channel, which means we just need to have a channel over here, which then means this will need to be filled back with earth. And a levee. Which also means this has to go. This one as well, probably channel will be here and will come in there so I can not get rid of this thing but we can now build the pumps right yes This, yeah, I think this will work. How is the water situation? Everything's blue here again. That's great. This is looking good. Contamination is down to zero. Well, over there, not over there. Uh, yeah, let's... Hmm, I, I also need to fill the reservoir up with water. Close it. it, it I, I guess this um, minor amount of, of contamination will be fine. Uh, right, right, yes, yes, maybe, hopefully. Not quite sure if I do the power thing over there or if we just do it over here for now. So this is now redundant. And hold on. Water will come in here, right? Didn't even need to do that. Let's just say it was because of the water glitches. Hmm. I could have had another gravity battery there. Well, great. Now, yeah, this is the, yeah, okay, so I could now even, we can rip this out. Bad head approaching, come on. Let me think. I mean, yeah, rip this out. Now that's the same level. This is a triple floodgate. We can have this here. Power goes in there. Like so. And is connected over here. 
we can have a way up and way down. For now. We also need a straight power shaft over there, but pause this thing as well for a second. Till they have this built. And I really I really wanna try this out before the bad tide hits. So I guess um kinda wanna open this a little bit more. Do we get major flooding now? It's fine. Okay, pumps are pumping. Please set this to good water only. That would be the next catastrophe. Okay, and if I now... This is open. If I now close this floodgate. Let's open this a little bit and close this. Just so that we lower the amount of water in here so that I can see what, what's happening. If I close this now, I should have, I should have, hold on. Build a stream, a stream gauge. Let's build one. Let, it will probably take a second to, you know, um, adjust. Let's flush a little bit out here. I, I really want to know. Okay. Yeah, now what is wobbling around? Let's see where it will be stable. The, the question is, is six pumps enough? And I don't think so. Flushing it out again. Now we're at 1.5 ish. Two point twelve. No. Six six pumps is not enough. Two point seven, two point eight three. Yeah. That's not enough. You know the thing is in, for this to be completely operational, this would be open. And we would not lose good water. So this would this would be the thing. And as soon as this is emptied, we sh what we should see is that no good water is lost here anymore. Why are you not pumping anything? Those two aren't working because they're on top of the water source. Okay, so maybe I need to... Uh, let's pretend this is at the height of 1. Maybe we need to backfill everything here with one... Uh, with, you know, one tile. But we're still losing, we're still losing water here. Those two water sources, how strong are they? I mean, obviously we could go for two more pumps here. Ah, <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I really thought this would work. Yeah, don't waste a lot last drops of water. Uh, okay, okay. Two more pumps. Um, wow. Which means the bad water overflow would be over here. I don't I don't like that. It's very close to our living quarters. Maybe we'll have to redo something here. I really want to get this to work now. I'm I'm angry. Ok, 
Okay, now we have a bad tide, which means close this, open this. Thirty-day bad tide, so we can't test that <clears throat> for a very, very long time. Or could I do something to reverse the whole thing? Maybe I can, I can test that. Yeah, if we close this with a floodgate. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can close everything here, and we could. I could I could reverse test that. I think so. Okay, this is obviously going to be a, a pump. As our log storage is stabilizing, I'm gonna unpause two of each here so that we don't completely run out of keys and logs. And while I, you know, while I'm not um, watching the the uh, I'm stored amount all the time. Keys are well, we we already used 700 keys again, so. Uh, that's something. In the meantime, um, they're coming along quite quite a bit. We can now build this pump. And as soon as this is done, we can build the last one over here. I have now placed um, a floodgate here. We'll also build one over there. And this will also be a floodgate. So then we will be able to open and close uh, the main channel in the middle. And the smaller channels on each side. Um, in in every direction individually so hold on hold on stop 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 this is for good water only now yeah great now we have bad water in there well 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 yeah well as soon as this is finished I'll, I'll show you what I mean that we can now open and close all channels in both directions uh, you'll, you'll see that in a minute It's actually nice to have bots as builders because they do something in the night, during the night as well. 100 gears and 40 treated planks, please. And then we can test if eight pumps is enough and we're going to test it with bad water, obviously. So what's the worst thing that ha can happen? The same thing that we had. <laughs> okay. Pumps are in, floodgates are operational. Pause the game. In a good tide. This is open, this is open. This is open. This could be open in a good tide. Well, then we'd have, you know, the functionality without the pumps. 
The idea is, again, to have enough pumps that we can um, pump every uh, every drop of water that is generated by those two water sources that are way stronger than the other water sources that we have in, we you know, where we built the first filtration system. Okay, but now let's, let's pretend that we want to have, you know, the bad water being pumped out into the small channels. And the small channels shall dump the bad water down there. So this has to be open. This has to be open. And then this has to be closed. Because bad water gets pumped in here and then it will flow out there. So this is open. This is closed. Same thing up here. Close this and open this. And I now see that we still have a levy here. This is closed. This is opened. This is opened. Uh, assuming that we want to, you know, test if everything gets pumped out without having these, this shall be closed. And usually I would open this because in theory, not a single drop of bad water would be, uh, would be left. And well, obviously the source is here. So bad water would flow over there because it wouldn't even reach this. Never mind. For our test, we'll close those. Both will be closed. So, if the pumps, if eight pumps are not enough for our water sources, then this tiny reservoir in the middle will now overflow. Let's see what happens. Haha, <laughs> stop. We obviously need to set the pumps to bad water now as well. And now, unpause. I don't have a stream gauge in there, so I can't uh, test, well, can't measure it completely. But we can have a look at the at the levees here. And I think eight pumps is what we need. I think that's working. I think that is working. That's perfect. I'm still going to switch that around so that the pumps, you know, work during the wet season. And the pumps are pumping the good water and the bad water will flow through this channel. But assuming that the good and bad water are producing the same amount of water, which we already tested and well, that's that's how it is, then this will work in the next wet season. Great that I initially thought that we would only need two pumps, and now it's eight. So those water sources are four times stronger than the water sources over there. I'm fine with that. Uh, now that I think of it, having the pumps only to be only operational during the wet season is also better, you know, more efficient energy-wise because the wet seasons are way shorter than the bad tides. Okay, so pause again and, and we'll switch it around again. I can't tell you how relieved I am right now. This is closed and this is closed and this is opened and this is set to good water. Okay, so last check. Everything is set to good water. This is opened, so the good water will flow out there. Well, you know what? Let's um, close that for a second and open this again so the, the bad water will run out there the, the little bit that we have in there. There's some more in there. It'll evaporate more, hopefully. Yeah, we can't flush that out because we, we don't have the same height. I may or may, may or may not adjust the, the height of the of the pools in here, but maybe we'll just leave it as is. I'm probably going to do a little cleanup, but well, not now. I'm <laughs> to be honest, I'm exhausted now. Okay, but now let's um yeah. Never mind. I'm going to set this up for a good tide. In the good tide. The water will be pumped in here. Good tide good water everywhere yeah water will be pumped in here so this needs to be closed 
and this needs to be opened so the good water will flow over there same thing uh, here this needs to be closed and this needs to be opened so the good water will flow over there now this will mix a little bit with bad water that's okay this needs to be open this needs to be closed this needs to be open perfect and it's not that bad looking i mean this is not really close to to our um you know regeneration area here we'll think about something uh and this thing is way larger than we had it before i think it was up till here or something um what we also can do we could we could build gravity batteries here sure why not Yeah. I uh, just need to think about a mechanism to hook them up and so on. Uh, but yeah, this will this will be not a problem. I mean, they won't. They, they can only reach down till the till they hit the the wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably seven, not eight, because we need to bring the power here. And obviously we need to pause all of them so that they can start building this one and then that's too far away, come on. How about now? Still. How about now? Now it's working. Uh, we'll connect it with this and yeah, then, then we'll have that working as well. Okay, with that, quick look at... What happened over here? That's fine. Not we have we have contamination a little bit here. Open this floodgate. We have that all the time. Oh yeah, I think I think I need to open that uh, in a bad hut, right? So that the bad water levels go down. No mind. Right, okay, so I think it, yeah, it will be probably the next episode that we start this thing, what I uh, actually wanted to do in this episode, but yeah, things happened. Things happened, and to be honest, I'm glad now that this, that this is working, as I thought it would have um, two episodes ago. Well, never mind. Now we did that. I hope you still enjoyed this episode. Um... Consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment down below. That would really make me happy. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good one. Bye bye.